Hello, it's me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the level of jokes we're doing now. I have been sent by the Pope for heresy is afoot. Some of you don't believe in the power of the Mighty Seer, so I'm here to address that. The Mighty Seer can be acquired from Captain Lonowski in the mission Tolstoy on Mercury. The damage on the seer is actually quite good, 101 split evenly between impact slash and puncture, and the status chance of 13% isn't the worst thing in the world. The crit and reload speed though, that, that, that is a bit of an oof. It sports enhanced zoom capabilities, which can be seen as a good or a bad thing. Um, it sucks, don't tell the Pope. And there exists a considerably better version that can be acquired from a lich, but we're not gonna be using that today. Alright, first of all, need a change of clothes here, there we go, much better. Now, I actually already have 5 form on this here, so this is gonna be faster than usual. Uh, I do not have an adapter yet though, so let's put that on. While I'm not a fan of Deadhead, this is one of the weapons where it does make sense. Diffusion... Now, the nice shot's gonna be huge here, because it's actually multiplicative on this here, for some reason. Lethal Torrent, for sure. Hmm... I'm actually not sure what I want to do here. Yeah, I think this is the way. We can run Prime Convulsion, Pathogen Rounds, and Prime Heated Charge, which should give us an absolute ton of damage. How much is that, actually? Uh, 1400. Yeah, that's great. I'm not sure about this, but for now, let's just put it in. Let's slap a D right there. And let's put on Quick Draw. No, Stunning Speed, actually. There we go. Let's start nice and easy. Level 50. They really need to give the Mighty Seer a scope, because aiming down sights with it is just atrocious. The damage was pretty good actually, so let's bump it up to 100. Eh, it's okay. I think I'm more annoyed because I'm aiming down sights to try and score headshots than by the actual damage. That's a little bit too much viral, let's run that unranked actually, that's, uh, yeah, that's better. Oh, I just realized. I've been running it in steel path this entire time. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, no, I hate this. I hate this so much. We're going back to raw damage. Be blessed, my beautiful people. What in the hell is this? Yeah, I'm getting the neuroptics. Nora, you're in the way. Uh, there's a ding. Let's put a dash Reno right there. And, you know, since I dropped uh, Deadhead, because I just don't like Deadhead, I'm actually going to put on Hornet Strike to help with the ramp up of Merciless. I mean, it's okay, but we still need to add Harold into the mix, which is gonna add a ton of damage through the priming, because Gravenite Shot is multiplicative here. Let's see how big of a difference this actually makes. I am gonna say that this is gonna be pretty massive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My, this is, yeah, night and day difference. Night and day difference. God damn, that's good damage. Well, I guess it's time then. Holy sh... Did you see that? That was a 700k headshot. Oh, here comes the devil's spawn. I'm not afraid, I have the power of Pope on my side. Well, so far so good. The damage is actually okay. It's better than a lot of other weapons that I've tried recently. Ah, you think your demonic tricks will work on me? No, 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 I have a little ace up my sleeve, demon. Exorcisamuste. Omnis immundus spiritus, omnis satanica potestas, omnis incursio infernalis adversari. Ha ha ha, suck it. So that was pretty great, I wasn't quite sure how much the original Seer would be capable of doing, but it turns out it does more than enough. Now this is largely due to Galvanite Shot being multiplicative here. So once you throw Harold and his priming into the mix, the scaling goes through the roof. But it's not just that, the Seer does have solid based damage which is scaled fabulously through the elemental mods, especially now that we have access to two primed elemental mods, which is what makes it a great candidate for scaling through Galvanite Shot. Now you would get better results if you were to run this with secondary Deadhead, but I just don't like Deadhead, I very much prefer Merciless. Also, all of this was done without a Riven. If you can get a Riven to replace either Stunning Speed or Pathogen Rounds, this thing is gonna shred pretty hard. The disposition is at 1.5 right now, and that's... that's spicy. You're gonna get some enormous Rivens with that. So I guess the Pope was right. The Seer is pretty great. You know, I actually love this. I love that you can pick up a weapon very early on, because you can farm this as soon as you get to Tolstoy, and slowly, over time, upgrade it into something that actually does decent damage. But anyway, that is it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.